100 Fascinating Louisville Women. Nancy Miller is the author. She's here to share the book with us this morning. A beautiful coffee table book with lovely photos. Um, and Nancy, tell me how this idea came about. I had been interviewing a lot of women for different types of articles, and uh, they were fascinating. And finally I thought, you know, we should put all of these women into one book so Louisville can get to know them. And three years later, here's the book. Here's the book. Mm -hmm. John Nation did the photography he for did. you. He did a wonderful job. Phil Harcourt was the designer. It is a lovely book. I want to share a couple of the photographs and then let you okay. tell us a little bit about some of the women who are featured, All right. uh, just to show sort of the vast differences in the women in this book. Um, let's see if we can see the first photograph. Now this woman is... She is Dr. Renee Campbell. She is CEO of Wesley House okay. here in Louisville. And she's also a chief in a village in Ghana. Okay, now, from her story, we go to a local veterinarian, Heidi Hulon. That's right. Her photograph is really <laughs> funny. I, I like that with the tiger. That's right. Um, and with her dog. And talk a little bit about her career and mm -hmm. how she got into that. The thing that I found interesting when I was looking through the book is that some of these women who are very successful in their field did not start out on that path at all. Not at all. They're, that's part of the fun of their story to see their own journeys and how they took some twists and turns and had a lot of surprises. And we don't always just talk about women's careers. We talk about all aspects of their lives. Right. You do ask people mm -hmm. about their biggest regrets. Yes. Um, some of the things that, some of the lessons they learned along mm -hmm. the way, their biggest mm -hmm. hero. That's right. Um, I was honored that you called me to be in this book. Of course we did. My husband was stunned when I told him that I said he was my biggest hero. He's like, you're lying. So I took a picture of the page and I said, here it is, right here in print. <laughs> it's 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 true. Yes. And you ask people to show some side of themselves that maybe other, others did not see. And I like, to, I like to cook. Mm -hmm. So I invited John to come to my kitchen, made him some muffins. Yes. We just ate and had a good time. And he said the muffins were very good. Oh, good. So, <laughs> so <laughs> they made it. It's very hot. For people who want to pick up a copy of the book, where can they find it? Uh, it's available at Carmichael's, and Barnes & Noble, etc. Work the Metal, a lot of different stores around town. Shop. Certainly the bookstores. Okay. Oh. It's 100 Fascinating Louisville Women. We have a link on our website to the website about the book if you want to find out more information. Nancy, thanks for sharing it. Thank you for including me. I was Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Dozens of Louisville chefs are serving up signature dishes in one place this week, so you get some good eating. Keith Kaiser is eating pretty well himself this morning.